Well, you're known to be a very loyal person. Very. And, uh, for example, I'm, I'm friends with Wendy Day. Right. Uh, in fact, uh, she actually was the one that referred her lawyer to me, the cat, the lawyer that she got, because uh, Cash Money, she, Wendy Day, for those that don't know, Wendy Day set up Cash Money's deal. Uh, Cash Money ended up not paying her. Uh, she ended up referring that same lawyer to me, and, you know, uh, mm-hmm. which I ended up using for years. Uh, but there was apparently a situation between you and Birdman over that whole Cash Money Wendy Day situation. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about that? I mean, she, Wendy's a very good friend of mine, and um, very good friend of mine. I, I would never, I would never say or do anything against against Wendy. Um, it just wouldn't. It just you couldn't pay me to do it. Nobody could, because she's just that type of person. You know what I mean? Like you don't you don't fuck Wendy Day over. Like that's not in a negative way, but that's she's just good people. So I would never go against her. My meeting with Birdman was just that. It was a meeting. Um we talked like gentlemen, you know, I didn't it was no f- yelling or screaming. There was no fear. There was no nothing. I said, yo, I need to holler at you. Matter of fact, I was very cool with Funkmaster Flex. So I told him I was coming up to the station. They were up there. I told Flex, I said, yo, I'm up downstairs. That's back in the days when you didn't have to go through Fort Knox to get in that motherfucker. They let me upstairs. I said to Burry, man, I need to holler at you about something. He said, okay, cool. He got up and walked all the way outside with me. So we went down the elevator, through the hallway, back through the front doors, and we stood on the street in front of Hot 97 on a public New York street and had a conversation. One of his security guys came with him. You know, and Burbank didn't ask him to come. He came on his own, tall guy. And he walked, he walked out with us and he stood on the sidewalk. Um, There was a guy across the street who the security guy was leery of. And I think he thought that guy was with me, but he wasn't. So, I stopped my conversation with Birdman, and I'm sure if he remembers the situation, he'll tell you this. I stopped my conversation with Birdman, and I went and got the guy and snatched him up and brought him over there and asked him what the fuck he want. Why is he lurking around like that? He was like, oh, nah, I just wanted an autograph. And then I let him go, and I was like, okay, cool. So just to show him that I wasn't on no sucker shit, because I don't believe in ambushing motherfuckers and all that corny shit. I, if it's a problem, I bring it straight to your face. It ain't no ambush. After I showed the dude, the security dude, that that guy was not nobody that I had with me, I let him go. The guy got his autograph, his picture, whatever, and we let him go. I went back over to Birdman, finished. I, I said, listen, dog, um, I called Wendy Day. I gave him my phone. He spoke to Wendy Day. Whatever that conversation was, I wasn't privy to that. Whatever he said to her, I wasn't privy to that. Then he gave me back my phone. We had a few more words. I shook hands with him. He walked back upstairs and I left. That was exactly what happened. Okay. So why was there a story about you pulling a gun out on Birdman? I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea. Okay. Because I think Wendy Day actually said the story originally. When Cash Money didn't pay you, did they give you a reason or just cut off communication? They just cut off communication. At one point... One of my artist friends bumped into Birdman and put a gun to his head and made him call and apologize to me, which he did. Birdman called me up and said, oh, your friend just pulled me out of Hot 97 and I'm here on the street on my knees and I want to apologize to you. I really didn't care about the apology. I wanted to know, why would somebody shit on someone that changed their life for the better? I just couldn't wrap my head around that and he couldn't really give me a good answer. Maybe because he was a little scared himself based on the situation. Well, the gun. Yeah, I can see where that would be a little intimidating. Birdman said to me, sue me. When I have to pay you, you'll get paid. He said it very nonchalantly and very matter-of-factly. And as time wore on, I saw that he didn't pay anybody. He didn't pay the t-shirt manufacturers. He didn't pay the Fruit of Islam for security. He didn't pay security guards for security. He didn't pay his staff. He didn't pay for his office rent. They didn't pay anybody. Who was the artist that put a gun to Birdman's head? It was actually Freddie Fox, and I think that he has spoken about it, so I don't think it's incriminating. Plus, more than seven years have passed. Wow, Freddie Fox. 
He always comes up in interviews for having done some wild stuff. And he's such a good friend. He's somebody that really looks out for me. He's not somebody that I've ever been able to help in my career. He's just a good friend. I heard it. I read it. I heard it. I saw it. I have no idea what he said to her. She wasn't there. She was on the phone. So whatever he said to her, I don't know what he said. Okay, but he called her Wendy Day up and apologized. He was on the phone with her. I don't know what that conversation was. I walked away. Remember I told you I walked away? Uh, and then uh, I gave him the phone and I went back and talked to the security guy. I didn't want to stand there in his conversation. So his, he was on my phone talking to her. Uh, but I don't know what the conversation was.